good afternoon everybody uh, myself nadish i work for java sq team at oracle and today i am going to talk about invoke dynamics which is a new bytecode introduced in java 7 uh, in this talk basically i am going to cover basically answer three questions why invoke dynamics what features it provide and how it's provided and if you have any question you can ask in between itself don't wait till end because if you lost something in between i think you lost the entire thing okay am i audible okay jvm languages are jvm languages are languages which you can run on top of java virtual machine and to run a la language on jvm you have to produce a properly valid class file which contain bytecodes and there are 200 plus jvm languages and java is the primary language which run on top of jvm there are other languages like jruby jython javascript groovy smalltalk most whatever language you name it will be it will have any jvm equivalent version the problem with this thing is basically jvm is designed primarily for java and there is a tight coupling between java and jvm semantics but semantics of other la jvm language take example python its semantics is completely different from java for example python is a dynamically typed language but whereas java is a statically typed language dynamic type in what i mean is this is a python code there you can this is a function which i define here uh, this function this function will take two arguments but contrary to java here we are not defining any type and the type will the variable will assign the type at run time if you are passing some integer to some then a and b will assume a yeah, and b will assign to the type in at the run time if you pass float it will it will be float type and basically that's kind of that's basically dynamic type at run time you will uh, get the type then other 